Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. How are you all? Listen, I've got three cameras that I'm straightening, so just bear with me a little bit, uh, if you don't mind. Hello, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Dion here. Um, we are working on a transfer. Now, what is that, you ask? I'm going to show you what I'm working on. Anybody else with me today or am I alone? Oh, there's Instagram. I see a bunch of people over on Instagram. Hi, you guys. Dion here. Hello. Here's Bub. Hi, Dawn. I appreciate you all popping in with me today. Listen, this is a piece very similar to the merry-go-round dresser that I did just a few weeks ago as part of my summer series. And um, I had a customer purchase one of the pieces. And anyway, this is a custom order is what I'm trying to say. And so I'm kind of trying to redo it just a little bit. What that means is I'm using all the same colors that I did on the merry-go-round dresser. I'm using the same transfer and I'm also going to use the same brushes and create my own hand painted flowers. So these transfers work, work really well in adding a lot of oomph, shall we say, or application to a piece of furniture or to a piece of artwork um, that maybe you want to take from drab to fab, um, whatever you want to call it. But this one is the um, botanist journal. These are from IOD, which is short for Iron Orchid Designs. They are transfers. So they come out in this handy little tube. And I take mine always. I roll them out and then I cut it up into sections because I want to apply it all over the piece of furniture in just a random pattern. Um, you can do it however you'd like. But what I'm going to do with this piece is uh, I did. I worked on this dresser the other day with you guys as well. So if you missed it, it should be on the replay. Um, so listen, this piece, I've cut the transfer into three sections. There's still another section, which I think I might save for the side um, with the great big sunflower on it. But I like to add my transfers. I've already put this one on right here. You can see it here. It's already on. Took me a little bit of time, but you can see that's kind of an abrupt line right here. It just like cuts off. Um, I'm not gonna leave it that way because what I plan on doing is filling in right here in the middle and wrapping around the sides, possibly even on the top. Um, I'm gonna grab my art brushes, which are my favorite. These are actually from the Turquoise Iris collection, so it's totally a shameless plug. I'm, there's no shame involved whatsoever. Um, when I'm working with anything on canvas um, with smaller artistic designs or on my, on my large canvases, I'm always using my brushes. Now these are the Turquoise Iris. Um, this is the Magic Pack and also the Team. I will be using the cheerleader and the mascot more than any other brushes for this, but we're going to create some stems and some leaves. We're going to create some blooms and I'm going to get it as closely to I can as I can to the merry-go-round dresser that I did just a few weeks ago. If you missed that, you can actually watch all of my videos on playback. I never have deleted a video. So if you saw me on Facebook once, that video is still there. And if you're on Insta or on Facebook, um, nope, I'm lying. If you're on YouTube, you can go to the playlist marked merry-go-round and I will do a very similar dresser um, as to this one right here. So all of these brushes right here, they are available on my website, but they're pretty much the ones that I use. Anytime you see any of my hand-painted flowers, this is my go-to, Paint Pixie. Um, private labels these for me, you guys. So such a nice treat. The link is probably posted, hmm, let me think about this. There it is. So on Facebook and then on YouTube, check the comments if you're interested in trying out the brushes. Um, we have a one inch, we have one with an edge, which is really great for making stems. And uh, also I do a lot of this one with my flower blooms. You guys, the transfer has already been applied here. Let's work on this one together. So when you, oh, no, 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 don't forget. Do you guys remember this? That's what I did. I put the base coat on this the other day, and then I came out here a couple of days later, and I did a little dry brushing. This brush right here is a brand new, just listed two days ago. It's called the VIP. It's also from the Turquoise Iris Collection, and it's 20% off. So you get it now. It's 20% off, right? This is the very first time they have ever done a release and offered it 20% off right out of the gate. So 
you can grab one of those as well on the Paint Pixie website. Um, it's called the VIP. So we've sold a ton of those and those are li very limited in quantity. So don't wait. Um, all right. So I just kind of use painter's tape to adhere this. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get all the transfers on. Then I'm going to hand paint some flowers, different designs, and just have a really good time wrapping it around the sides, a little on the leg, maybe even a little bit on the top. Um, and then I will distress the whole thing. So I'm going to distress the app, the, the transfers. I'll distress my flowers. I'll distress around the edges. Um, then we will end up putting some wax on it and finishing off with the hardware and then it'll be ready. You're putting the VIP on your Christmas list. That is a great idea. Thank you guys for being here. Hi from Zanesville. I will see you in Zanesville in December. Awesome. Okay, so when you order an IRD transfer, you get these little tools. It's just a plastic piece. Um, I'm, I use the tape just to kind of hold it into place and it's a pretty good arm workout. You want to make sure your plastic's pretty warm. It allows the trans, or maybe it's cold, probably cold. Either way, I got this one on pretty easily before I turned the camera on. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is just pulling right off. So, like I said, it comes in a straight roll, and I cut it up into sections because I like to do that. And I like to incorporate my own hand painted designs as well, just because that gives me more of a one of a kind piece of furniture. And I'm always looking to turn our furniture pieces into artwork, right? And you know what? If you haven't tried one of these, don't worry about just getting it just right. Often, some of the flowers will tear off. And, oh, don't be devastated if one flower, like, gets stuck or if, like, one leaf gets stuck. Don't worry about it, you guys. I promise you, it just adds more charm and character. So just don't worry about that. Don't fret over the small things, okay? We have more things to be worried about than a leaf coming off on a transfer just perfectly. So since I'm working on this for a custom order, I just thought, well, I'll just go live here with you guys and let you see how I do it. And look, you see how it's already transferred off of there? Pretty stinking sneezy. I keep thinking of like when mom used to like do my knees on my jeans, yes. Yes, I'm that old. Uh, Mom would patch me and my brother's jeans. I always keep thinking that this is kind of like patching a knee, but instead we are um, adding so many beautiful highlights to this piece. It's a three-door, three-door solid wood piece. And my customer bought two pieces, so she'll be coming from Missouri to pick those up next week. And I wanted to get this piece ready before I leave for San Diego to release our new colors for DIY paint. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. You see, it's already coming down. Now, guys, when you go over a drawer, just take be really easy, lightly. You may want a razor blade or, razor blade or something just to kind of cut the flower. Here I am using a fingernail because fingernails can do anything. So I'm just kind of cutting it and slicing it right there with my fingernail. If you have questions and I'm just not answering them, I apologize. I promise I will go back. The colors of the dresser, guys, I started with DIY's French Millinery base coat on Friday night for FNL. Then I came in with our fuchsia, which was Kissing Booth. We had Marquee, and then we had um, Cowgirl Coral right here, right there. And then we did a bunch of Golden Ticket. And the blue that you see is Mermaid Tail. And then I actually sprayed over the entire piece with a water bottle full of really, really watered-down DIY paint in the color called Hey Sailor. I'm going to tell you guys all the colors. I will probably tell you more than once because I want to make sure you get all the information and feel like when you watch my videos, I told you everything. I don't mean to repeat it myself. I apologize if it sounds like I am. You're dying for the new colors, Karen. Same girl. I know this. I know this. Let's put that back up there so it's not flopping over. There's probably a really good way to work this system. 
people that use these all the time, but I don't use them all the time. And so I don't really have a great system other than I just kind of boop, 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 boop. I go over the whole thing. I know that's a pretty good arm workout. I also know I turned my fan off so you guys could hear me real well. Now I'm wishing I had it on. But these do. They come off really easily. See? See? In no time. No, no time. Oh, oh, oh. Awesome. And just make sure these leaves are secured before we go down to the next drawer. So I did this one already before I went live with you all. If you don't have time to watch this, you can always just share it. It'll show up on your own timeline and then you can find it easier when you go back rather than scroll through all of my thousands of videos. <laughs> but again, I will be using these tomorrow when we go live. So these are the turquoise iris brushes. I'm gonna fill in here with some hand painted flowers and vines in all different colors from um, DIY paint. The cheerleader ends up being one of my number one favorites. The edge works really well for precise lines. Um, the favorite is one that will give you really, really, really pretty defined petals. So all of these are the brushes that I, they're my go-to, and I feel really lucky that I have such good supplies that I get to use. Okay, I'm going to hold that up there just so I can. Okay, we're going down to the next drawer, you guys. We've got two drawers down. This big, huge chrysanthemum. Is it a chrysanthemum, guys? Am I calling this flower the right thing? Where are my gardeners? Thanks, Carol. Honey, I've got your order all set up. Pretty little purple flower. Don't know what it is. Where are my gardeners? What's this purple flower? Pretty sure this is a chrysanthemum though. This huge red, pink bloom. All right, let's see how far we're getting, guys. Oh, oh, nope, nope. We didn't get a few stems right here, guys. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna try to go back and fill them in. So my questions to you guys are, for those of you that are on here all the time, if you ordered these brushes from the Turquoise Iris Collection, tell me which one your favorite brush is and who has pre-ordered this Mamba Wombo VIP 6-inch brush um, from Paint Pixie. Who's ordered that already? We've sold quite a few of them. Raise your hand. Does anybody want to take over now? I'll do this. I did the top part. You do the rest. <laughs> Just about got it, guys. still with me or am I all alone? Hey guys, I see some familiar faces. Are they peonies? I don't think they're peon peonies. No, I think the, 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 now that's a rose. 
some roses. What is this? And what is this little purple one? And I'm pretty sure it's a chrysanthemum, even though y'all are going to say no. But I know it's not a peony. Just about got it, guys. Hang tight. Oh. Sorry, you're looking at my head. It's rude. So sorry. Okay. Woo! Well, isn't that just handy? Right? Isn't that just wonderful? So, of course, you're going to end up sealing it. I'm going to end up um, bringing in some flowers here, bringing in some flowers here, different variety. Um, there's actually a bluebird on this one. Um, there are also some stamps and some letters that you could add if you wanted to. This guy's pretty little. It's only 36 inches, so I'm not going to just totally overpower it, but you could. Um, it's just it's a it's a good solid piece. Colors are all by DIY. These are IOD transfers, and the brushes that I am using are all Paint Pixie. You guys, if you have any questions, leave them in here, and I will post links for you. Um, for those of you that are saying, where can I get that? I'm going to take care of you, I promise. Thanks for being here with me today. I will be back tomorrow because I'm going to hand paint some flowers just for you guys. And Jamie Davis, I will see you Sunday. I saw that you bought your ticket the other day. So if anybody is in the San Diego area or not, or wants to fly there, just so you know, we still have a couple of tickets available for the San Diego workshop where we are going to be revealing the brand new DIY paint colors um, live for the group of 40 people that are there. Um, any more questions? Just let me know. Tag me. Uh, this transfer is the Botanist Journal. It's the one with the big sunflower on it. I am so grateful. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. I'm going to say goodbye, Instagram. Goodbye, Facebook. Oh, it's interesting. The lighting is so different on each platform. It's really dark on 